Hey, uh, how you doing, everyone? Force Raider here, and welcome back to the Long Dark. I have been putting off this video for several days because I was waiting for this cup to come in the mail so that I could make this bit. The Hinterland store has been down for a very long time. They had a very nice hatchet and these cups. Not this one, though. I believe those ones were all ceramic, and this one is a ceramic-coated metal camping cup. Or mug, however you want to put it. I had to custom order this for this bit. Because I really, really wanted this cup, and I couldn't get it from the frickin' Hinterland store. I am... I am taken aback by the sheer stupidity of what I am doing right now that I patiently waited to get this just for this moment. This is so weird. I, I, I haven't had coffee in a very, very long time. I know I always put milk and sugar in it and everything or creamer or whatever, and this is just black coffee. And it tastes fine to me. I don't know what the heck has happened. Has something in me changed where now I'm okay with black coffee? I'm genuinely fascinated by this, and here I am just drinking this damn coffee. I might go get some more after this one. Anyway, again, welcome. Not totally sure how much of the game is left. Um... I think this might be the last episode for this chapter until the next one comes out. Not sure. Not placing any bets on that. Because the last time I did that for a game, which was just last video, I was dead ass wrong. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and resume with our playthrough of I Forget Her Name Already. Was it Ingrid? <laughs> I don't, I don't remember what, what it was. I, I know I have to go to a, where an old coal mine was situated at. Hello, Father. Nice to see you again for the last time. We've got about a, ha a little less than half a day. Hit the wrong damn key. I still got this stuff here. Church artifact, a thief is... What? Eve is still in the churchyard of Thompson's Crossing in such a remote town. It's likely the artifact has great value. Hold on. I forgot to re-engage the threshold on my mic so it would cut out all the little bits of BS in the background. Now, I, I normally do it in software as well just to be doubly sure, but I I had forgotten. I, I turned it down just for the bit. Hidden Glowing Cave. Ghostly Stag. Where's the coal mine again? Isn't it supposed to be somewhere around here? For the tall tail Sasquatch. Oh my god, do I really want to drag it out? You know what, I... Until I... I, I, I know I'm supposed to go to um, a coal mine to get through. Like, something like that, maybe. But I don't see where it is on the map. So I guess I'm gonna maybe take a shot at going for some of the other stuff that's on here. Like, I want to know what's up with Sasquatch here. Biscate, the tall tales you find in books around Pleasant Valley. There's four. I only have three of these. There's a fourth one? <laughs> shit. What the shit? Oh, I forgot this was right here. Hello, Molly. Wow, I hate to be a foregone conclusion. Well, I don't seem to get a lot of other calls out here. I want to know something. Why did you work so hard to help those strangers? Would they have done the same for you? I have no idea. I doubt they would. You probably work all day, every day. Bust your ass to help people, delivering babies or researching or whatever it is you do. Does anyone really notice? I I'm not sure. But I don't do it for that. You don't do it for recognition because you don't get any. What is this about, really? I could have been something, too. Something more than a farmer's wife. 
Something more than a cattleman's daughter. I'm sure you could have, Molly. <coughs> Don't patronize me. I could have been something. But I let him stop me. I let myself be small so he could feel like somebody. I gave up everything for him. And to him, I didn't even exist. I let him make me small. Less than nothing. What happened to him, Molly? <sighs> you wouldn't understand. Uh... Where are you? Did you kill him? <laughs> There's different ways to hurt people. Some ways heal. Other ways never do. And I told you. The wolves killed them. <sighs> never mind that. I called to tell you something. What did you call to tell me, Molly? There's an old radio tower. On the top of the hill, overlooking my farm, you can see the tower from my porch. Not sure if you can get it working, but the radio up there would be good enough to reach Perseverance Mills. You can maybe find out about your guy. The precious mystery thing that you hope he has. A radio? But why, why'd you wait so long to tell me? Well, I didn't know if it'd work. And also, girl gets lonely. Out here, I guess. It was nice to have someone to talk to. Why not talk to the priest? Why me? Ha! Huh. Adding another layer to the story of Molly. I'm gonna go do the uh, the thing I said I was gonna go do. I'm checking out the Bigfoot thing. Maybe I'll find some supplies and stuff because I'm a little SOL at the moment. Yeah, I know, I'm at high risk of busting my ankles. It's not my fault that this is so steep. Ah! Of course. Okay. I get the message, go around. Wow. That sound. Supposed to be in an avalanche or some shit? <laughs> Look, I am I am immensely sorry that I got you injured. Hypothermia risk. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm almost there. Esther? I don't know. I, I'm still trying to remember the name of this chick. I'm sure it was said in the dialogue a minute ago, but I, I totally wasn't listening. That, that is the most amazing thing I have seen yet. I just want to know, does it have any meat on it? Yeah, it does. Okay, I'll come back for this. There's a cave. I need that. Could use a fire too while I'm at it. I can find a place to make one real quick. Yeah, there we go. Little encampment. Can I not pick up the entry? Oh yeah, no, I did. Come on, little fire. Come on. I'm in. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Just, just make the fire. I really need it. If it fails right at the end, I'll be so pissed. Oh, thank God. Okay, so yeah, it counted. I just had to come here. There was nothing special about it. I just found a dead guy. And possibly a better jacket. I don't know. It's heavier. Way heavier. It provides better stats all around except for, you know, running, which I don't plan on doing much, if any, of. Oh, the storm sounds like it lightened up a little. Oh, my heat is completely gone. Well, isn't that lovely? I thought that, you know, it wouldn't go down while I'm in here. And I don't have the, uh... It's so cold. ...means to start another fire at the moment. Lay down for a bit. Hmm, kind of boned myself a little, didn't I? I'm not sure I can carry much more. 
That's okay. You're all warmed up anyway. Oh my god. Why is the sky that color? I gotta find that deer corpse. Oh! <laughs> Straight away, found it. Take all the meat. I need it. Oh, thank goodness the heat's not going down too hard. Pick up some sticks along the way. I'll need it for kindling. I swear to God, I've been to that one already. I could try. You know, this is, this is the day of exploration. That's interesting, that little crevice. Huh. I'm just gonna circle around this, I guess, until I find what it is the hell I'm looking for. Hoping I get some kind of a small cave entrance. Because without that, I'm a bit boned. Ah! Not quite what I wanted. Had nothing on him, just an arrow. Recycled can, a place to make a fire. Ugh. I don't want to read this in the cold, but I'll do it. Use this stuff to push on up and out of this place. No end to these hills, but we got no other way. That thing is still out there. What thing? Is that an ammo can? A str no, no, I don't think so. Oh, more revolver ammo, more revolver ammo. Accelerant MRE. Oh, this is such a good find. Also a little bit stuck here for a tiny bit. So I think I'm good for now. Let's just uh, check ye old map. Yeah. Not terribly far away from the, uh, from the radio. I think I can make it with no problems. Provided I actually get inside this time. At least I got one more arrow for my troubles. You could, you'd think, you know, this freaking storm could lighten up just a tad bit. Just, just a freaking tad. Nope. Nope. Such is the long dark. Oh, my coffee's finally cooled down. Well, now, have I... I've been here before, haven't I? I might take a moment to fish. I found nothing! I don't need no stinking bridge. Also, I, I, I can't really afford to make the detour. Yeah, it's getting late. Oh. Go slow. Go slow. Slow, 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 easy, easy. We've made it. Yeah, no, don't worry. All right, there we go. And you only have to go for a little bit further. I don't really have the supplies if you hurt yourself. And there we go. Easy peasy. God, no. Of all the things to have happen, this is pretty high on the worst. I hate being cold, because I really do. Well, they kind of freaked off a little bit. I think I hit that one. Come on, come on, come on. Reload. Back up and reload. Back up and reload. There we go. Die, bitch! Oh, so cold. I know, I know, I'm sorry. It just everything went wrong. It's almost over, almost over, almost over. Reload. Back up and reload. Okay. Bring it. Come on. Where are they? 
I don't have time for this. Where did they go? All right, I'm dipping. Gotta get the map. It's up there. That was a lot of bullets for no meat. Oh, this wasn't here before. I think I'm out of danger. Yeah, the hoodie. Oh, now it does open. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, game. Mm. Couldn't have just gone here ahead of time. I can only hope the radio in here is in better shape than everything. Oh, my heat's going right. up. Hey, coffee. Just everything that is good in the world is down here. Why is all the good shit here? Oh, I found a flashlight. Oh, shit. Flashlight, a bed. There's the radio. I'm not getting the radio just yet. No, don't extinguish. Come on. I'm not gonna be able to carry this I guess I can't reach the rest of the books. Well, you're not gonna have to, okay? It's cassette tape. Unfortunately, I can't pick up. I need the leather from that. Revolver, rifle ammo. Oh, thank you. Someone is looking out for me, I swear. Look like mailboxes. There's a bullet. It all happened during a storm, so we'll never know exactly what the hell went on out there. All we do know is we're cut off from the highway now. Tons and tons of rocks stand between us and the rest of Great Bear. Earthquake, maybe? I don't know. Thick. I don't think those have any weight anyway. Ooh, sunk kit. A floppy disk. There's a phone here. Am I gonna get a call later? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, oh! Oh, I almost missed that. Friggin' rifle cartridges. Alright, radio time. The likelihood of this working is just impossible. You gotta wait till the uh. Oh, the radio sure did. Well, that trip was Aurora. a waste. Maybe, maybe not. Let's strike off the mine Father Tom mentioned in the morning. It's time to say bye to Pleasant Valley. Okay, maybe I'll just I'll only go to the other undiscovered things if I get lucky. Oh! Oh! Hmm, the exact thing I wanted to happen happened. Huh. The radio. It's working. Damn. Why can't I get anything? Come in, this is... I'm surprised it didn't Percival make me do that. Hello? Come in. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Can you hear me? There's some kind of quarantine situation. Hello? Mackenzie. What do you mean quarantine? Mackenzie, is that you? Is there a doctor with you? We need a doctor. We need a medical assistance. Anything. He can hear him, but he can't hear me. We're cut off. <sighs> alive. Damn. And he's got the case. <sighs> Estrid. I think that was her name. I'm, oh I am more surprised than anything. Oh, yeah, the phone. The Phone's working. What is it, Molly? We have a lot in common, you and I. How's that? We both left our men behind. We both like to be alone. We're both hiding from our pasts. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I didn't kill him, you know. I wanted to. So many times. I just never had the courage. And as bad as it got at times, at least I wouldn't be alone. Being alone would be worse. That's what I told myself. I don't judge you, Molly. I didn't kill him, but I may as well have. I watched while the wolves surrounded him. I knew what was Can coming. That? I had a rifle in my hands. I could have helped him. 
It all happened in slow motion, you know, like a ballet. They were so quiet and confident, like there was no other way it could end. And I just stood there, frozen. He was yelling at me to shoot. for someone to know. For someone to know what? That I don't regret it. Not for a second. The convict, outside with the arrows in his back. Is that your handiwork too? Yeah. They're all gonna pay now, Astrid. Who mm -hmm. are you? All of them. We've been in the background, in the shadows, invisible, overlooked for too long. Uh-uh, not anymore. I'm not sure revenge is the answer, Molly. <laughs> Maybe not. But it'll do for now. <sighs> Feels good to be on this side of the hunt. So I'm making up for lost time. Take care of yourself, Doctor. You too, Molly. Tell me one last thing. Your pilot. The one you left behind. You one of the good ones. He is. But things are complicated between us. Let's just say I wouldn't want to find him with an arrow in his back. Then I hope to never. Oh, okay. It's been good talking with you, Astrid. For a little while, you took the loneliness away. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> hmm. find some peace too the electrostatic noise in my in my left ear is just driving me bonkers and made it hard to concentrate but yeah molly became a manhunt a literal manhunter oh it's this freaking tv that's what it was making that all right look i'm back okay so yeah uh you, you've gone ahead watched everything that happened um I'm so not together at the moment. Not in just just like in a video sense. I I I seem to be slipping quite heavily. Things have gotten kind of interesting. So Molly has sort of turned into some kind of psychopath manhunter and is now hunting down any men she sees as she seems to have stated when she said that she hopes she never runs into Will after asking if he is one of the good ones. So there aren't too many people that I wish would have, you know, a terrible fate befall them out in the cold. But Molly is pretty high on that list. Sure, she's had some bad things and whatnot, but indiscriminate murder. Um, the, I'm, yeah, you know, just can't just can't sympathize with that. She had me on the whole like her husband was verbally abusive. And just a general asshole. He never touched her, but he, he, you know, he used his words, and words can be powerful. Uh, you know, I was, I was all, up, all, you know, for Molly and whatnot. You know, letting her husband die out to the wolves and whatnot because you know he was a dick. And I was like, ah, you know, it's a little, little controversial, but you know, I can, I can get that. But just indiscriminately killing people, not my cup of tea or cup of coffee in this case hmm but anyway Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, or if you just have an opinion your voice, why don't you go and leave your comments down below and I'll get back to making more awesome videos for you guys. Later.